everybody, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Graveyard Girl palette from Tarte Cosmetics. If you haven't seen my review, I suggest you guys go check it out. There's going to be a link below and it'll give you the deets on how these shades perform, um, which ones are my favorite, swatches, live swatches, all that good stuff. But here I have created a full face look using the shadows and the face products in this palette. I hope you guys enjoy. So I start by priming my eye with Tarte's Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Eye Base. I like using this base because it really allows the eyeshadow to last just a little bit longer. It gives a smooth application to any eyeshadow you're basically putting over it. Now this is the sample size that I've had for a while and a little bit goes such a long way. Now from the palette itself, I'm starting out with Big Baby which is the second row, it's the first shade, and I'm using this as an all over the lid shade, and I'm using the brush that was included in the palette. This is a great all over the lid shade. This is a great all over the lid kind of brush. Uh, allows me to really get into all the eye and to find the areas that I wanted to find as well. Now for the second shade that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna actually be using the highlight. So this is from the face side. I'm using Gator Wings, I'm using the same brush, I wiped it off a little bit, and I'm using this to highlight under my brow, and I'm going to blend this down to slightly right above where the brow bone is. Now I'm going to be applying the shade Sassy Bun to the lid. Now I'm applying it dry right now, and if you just want to really shimmery awake look you can stop this look right here and just have that there put a little bit of mascara on and you're done I wanted a little bit of a more dramatic look so you'll see what I do later on but this look alone I thought was very pretty and really a nice minimalistic look um, just a nice eye brightening look now the next shade I'm gonna be using is the super shimmery sippy sippy um, I'm applying this to the outer V and I'm not applying it wet or over any sort of tacky base because I actually don't want the glitter to show that much. If you want the glitter to show, apply it over a glitter base or apply it over a tacky base um, and don't use a fluffy brush. Use a more flat brush to, to pat it on. As you see, I'm using a fluffy brush. I'm blending it from the outer V into the crease and I'm also trying to use this shade to define. I'm using a fluffy brush now and I'm going to blend. This shade needed a lot of blending just because it was such an opaque shade. You really get a lot of pigmentation from the shade. You can also see on my cheek, there's quite a bit of fallout, um, both shimmery and of the shade. I actually fixed that um, with a beauty blender off screen um, because it just was making my cheeks look freckled. Now I'm wetting the brush that came with the palette with Fix Plus and I'm applying Sassy Bun again to my lower lid. And you can see the difference between uh, one eye to the next how much of a difference this shade makes When you apply it wet it really just intensifies it. It's almost like it's two different shades. I loved the versatility of sassy bun So I decided to get a little creative and I used physicians formula shimmer strips pencil in the shade nude eyes And I applied this to my crease I'm doing somewhat of a cut crease look but not exactly because it's not as clean as a cut crease look but it is dramatic nonetheless. Now over that I'm applying a little bit more sippy sip with a dense brush and I'm gonna blend this out again. Lots of blending is needed with this shade. Tons and tons of blending is needed unless you're putting it full on. Now the next thing I'm doing is I'm defining the outer wing. There's gonna be three wings in total, you'll see later on, um, but this helps to define that final outer part. And I'm applying Gator Wings to the inner corner of the eye. I love this highlight so much. Now I'm applying Gator Wings to my face. I'm starting with the face. I'm using an Anastasia brush. I think it's like 213. I'll have the details below. And I'm applying this dry to the face. Just like Sassy Bun, if you apply this wet, it's like night and day. You're going to have a super metallic sheen. Just as good as like Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, Unproducts like that. Very, very bright. Now I'm applying it to the center of the nose as well. Now this whole palette has like a vanilla-like scent. So the whole time you're doing your face look, you get this nice warm vanilla scent. It's not too overpowering. And I'm using Sweet Tea now on my cheek. And as you see, it's very, very pigmented. I don't think the swatches I did in my video of swatches did it justice. Because when you're applying this to the face, you need to blend this out a lot. It is very, very pigmented. You either use a fluffy brush or you're going to be blend, blend, blend. 
Next up I'm using, does this thing really work? Again, this blush, just like the video of my swatches, don't feel like it did it justice because as you see here, it's quite pigmented. Unfortunately, when you're applying it to your skin, you, use a lot, you lose a lot of that golden shimmer that you've seen in the hard swatch. So unless you're applying it without much blending, you're not really going to see that too much. Next up, I'm doing my simple black liner. I'm using Kat Von D's um, Trooper Liner. It's their liquid liner. I love being able to define my eyes with this liquid liner. Like I said earlier, I was doing three lines, you'll see, because I have the, the black line, the pencil line, and now I'm doing this liner using a liner brush, a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'm going to dip that right in Sassy Bun, and it's going to define the area between the darker part of my crease and the lighter part of my crease, and I'm going to pull that out so there's a definition between the Physician's Formula line, the black line, and there's going to be a line of gold right in between. Now I'm applying Sassy Bun to the lower lash line. I'm applying it dry, and I love the shade because it really just opens and brightens your eye. Like I said earlier, just really, it's great. You can just apply this anywhere, and your eyes look instantly brighter, instantly wider. Now in the in, in now in the waterline, I'm applying Urban Decay's black pencil. I'm gonna have details on the exact shade. I forgot the name of it. I think it's like zero. I'm gonna be applying. I applied that in the waterline, and this to helps to create a little bit more drama. If you want your eyes to look even more awake, use a nude liner in the waterline. Um, this tends to make your eyes look a little bit smaller, but I like that kind of look. Now I added Creeper to my lips from ColourPop. That is the ultra matte lip, and that completes my look. So as you see, I did a bit of a cut crease look, and the only other products I used aside from what was in the Graveyard Girl palette was my eyebrows, fake lashes, mascara, that kind of stuff, and the lips, Those, and of course the foundation stuff. That's the only stuff that varied. Everything else was from the Graveyard Girl palette, including the blush, the highlight, the contour, and all the eyeshadows. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.